Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome again, guys. Welcome to another video lecture by Kamil Energy. So we are actually, you know, uh, start the series of video lecture of the screening, and we talked many of the screening techniques in this series, and uh, you know, in the previous video lecture we talked the blue wax screening, and with with uh, with before that video's lecture we also talked about some other technique as well of the screening. If you miss this video's lecture, it is present into my channel. You can watch it. Or I will keep the link in the description box or I will also make a playlist a complete playlist of the screening then you will check it into my channel okay now this is this will be uh, the last video lecture of the screening and in this video lecture we are going to talk about another screening technique which we call that uh, uh, expression screen okay there are some other screening technique as well but actually I'm not going to talk about each screen technique like a replica screen screening we have we have other screening or white and chromosome screening also but I'm not going to talk about each screen because it is not too much important and it is not used in our daily life. But if you guys, if you guys want that I make a video lecture on it, so then you will write. Now, in this video lecture, we are going to talk about uh, expression screening in a detail. So let me clean the whiteboard and let me start. So let me write expression screening. Now again, what is expression screening? It is a technique of the screening in which the protein sequences or the protein structure should be known or when the protein are expressed due to which we can detect our recombinant vector or recombinant DNA. Uh, or those bacteria which can carry the recombinant DNA vector okay now how can we do this uh, screening technique uh, in this technique we should know the structure of the protein and we should know the sequences of the protein which are produced from our desired genes let's suppose in this case the desired genes are uh, let's suppose insulin or growth hormone or any other things if it is insulin so it will produce the insulin protein Okay, if it produces insulin protein, so we should know the structure of the protein. We should know the sequences which is present in each protein. Now, once we know all the characteristics of each protein, then we will design the antibiotic. Uh, not uh, sorry, we will design antibody. Now, such antibody is present into the market, and it is also you know we can also design it artificially, and then we apply antibodies on each protein. And then it will show a uh, detection on uh, X-ray film. And then we will make sure that actually inside a master plate, then we, we will make sure that uh, any one of the colony can carry the recombinant DNA vector. But how? Let's suppose in this case, we have again, you know, uh, for first of all, we make uh, what actually we are going to do in this sector. We should make a master plate. Again, this is uh, the bacterial cell suspension inside a test tube so this is test tube and inside each test tube it contain a bacterial cell suspension all the bacterial cell suspension bacterial cell suspended form okay now we should pour this solution into a media so let's suppose this is a media neutron agar media neutron agar okay due to this way different kinds of uh, one, once we load it here then we should you know incubate this plate in incubator for 24 hour uh, at 37 centigrade after the incubation what actually we are uh, detecting here we check some colony as you can see so now this is called master plate so after that we get the master plate we will keep this master plate as it is then we will use it for our future uh, purposes now what actually we are going to do in this case after that we should put or press 
द नाइलॉन फिल्टर पेपर ऑन टू द सर्फेस ऑफ दिस न्यूट्रन एगर प्लेट टू टेक टू टेक द प्रिंट ऑफ ईच कॉलोनी एंड वी विल गेट अ रिप्लिका सो लेट सपोज वी लोडेड हेयर द नाइलॉन फिल्टर पेपर एज यू कैन सी दिस इज नाइलॉन फिल्टर पेपर नो आफ्टर दैट ऑन द नाइलॉन फिल्टर पेपर एज यू कैन सी देर वुल बी द कॉलोनी then this nylon filter paper should be dipped into sds solution to rupture or the bacterial cell now remember in this case the protein are produced remember all the protein are produced inside each bacterial cell and a lot of proteins are produced in in each colony now the protein which is produced in each colony these are the insulin let's suppose insulin protein but we don't know that whether the protein is produced or no but the protein will be produced okay now after that when we see so the structure of the colony are changed in a nylon filter paper sorry it shows that the cell membrane are ruptured mean the bacterial cell are no ruptured then we will fix all the all this colony by placing this uh nylon filter paper at a solid surface having the temperature is 80 centigrade or we expose it under the uv light to fix all the colony now the colony are fixed on each nylon filter paper then what actually we are going to do we will put the primary antibody on each nylon filter paper okay this is the primary antibody now what actually happen let's suppose let's suppose we don't know but let's suppose this one colony have all the uh, all those this colony have all those bacteria which can produce the insulin protein let's suppose but we don't know okay let's say in this case let me take this one bacteria okay now th th this is the protein structure as you can see which is produced by the uh, this uh, this one colonies and these are the antibiotics so antibiotics will bind here as you can see now when the anti uh, uh, antibodies sorry not antibiotics antibodies will bind here when the antibodies will bind here so then this is the primary then we wash this nylon filter paper and uh, to remove all unbounded antibody then we add a secondary antibody here secondary antibody will be bound with the fc region of the primary antibody as you can see and this secondary antibody also carry a radioactive substance like p32 okay and we also wash it to remove all the secondary unbounded secondary antibody now after some time we will see after the addition of antibody primary and secondary then we will put this nylon filter paper under the x ray film so suppose this is the nylon filter paper and this will be the x ray film so under the x ray film what actually we detected we detected that any between each colony one of the colony are become dark or one of the colony shows some signal or it means in the form of darkness it can show some signal as you can see okay this darkness can show that there is all those proteins which are produced from your recombinant dna vector and then we will compare this one uh, x ray this is x ray film then we compare this x ray film with the master plate this is the master plate and we will see that which one colony have the exact characteristic so the middle one have the exact characteristic as you can see then we use 
this one colony there is no one colony okay but here i draw just a few colonies as you can see but we have a lot of colonies and a lot of colonies are detected into the x-ray film and then we will say that these are actually the colonies which can carry all the recombinant dna vector and then we use we take out this colony and we you know plate it in a separate uh, media and we use it for our purpose different kind of purpose this is all about the expression screening i hope you guys get idea about the expression screening if you like these all the all the videos of the screening so please hit the like button share this video and subscribe the channel to get more interesting videos like that thank you so much